Some East High School students are also part of a big competition this weekend. Yeah, a regional robotics competition got underway today at DU, and our Michael Abeda got to check it out for himself. Here at the first robotics competition being held at DU, all students are learning about science and math, but there's one student who's learning about much more. I was just confused. One day on her way to engineering class at East High School, Melissa Hermosillo Nava saw something unusual. I saw a robot there, and it was a big robot, and it was something that our team had made. Building a robot never even crossed her mind. She's the daughter of immigrants, and there were some things she was just never exposed to as a young child. I honestly never had experienced anything STEM related growing up because I was wondering how students my age could build robots like these. She learned East High School has a robotics team she could join to learn how to build robots like Heart of Chrome. That was a huge surprise for her. I never really had access or knowledge that competitions like FIRST or robots even existed. But it was a welcome one. She joined to learn math and science, but she says she ended up learning much more. How to communicate with my team members, how to be a leader. <laughs> She and her team spent Friday competing in the Colorado First Robotics Competition. They were performing well, but more importantly, they were learning important life skills that will help shape what they do with the rest of their lives. Melissa already knows it has shaped hers. I had no idea what I wanted to do, and I had no sort of guidance, but with, through robotics, I not only have a vision of what I want to do with my future, but I know how to get there. This has been referred to affectionately as the March Madness of Nerds. Winners here will go on to the national competition. In Denver, Michael Aveta covering Colorado First. Oh, I love it.